We're going to look at 2016. No, 2006. Thank you, Alia. And then 2005. Persons are asking, why don't I go through multiple choice only? And I'm saying, no. You need to also go through the other past paper questions because those pull out your content and help you to revise. So I would say go through both multiple choice videos as well as the theory and the practical as well because the practical help you and will help you with the practical questions that they are going to bring in the multiple choice. So don't make the mistake of just going through the multiple choice only, please. And remember we want all ones. Yes. No twos, no threes, all ones. <laughs> all right. Number one. Number one A, what is an operating system program? And then they ask you to list three of the most common operating systems. And then they ask you to name two icons found on the desktop of the Windows operating system. Right away, they gave you one of them, which is Windows. You realize they gave you an answer in C? Yes. So what is an operating system program? It is, it's the name given to programs that coordinate all the activities among other devices. In other words, it controls various parts of the machine and allows them to communicate with each other. Oftentimes, I tell you that it is the interface among the user, hardware, and software. B. Three most common operating systems are Windows, Mac OS, Unix, others could be Linux, Apple OS 2, and War. Number two, two icons found on the desktop of a Windows operating system are Recycle Bin, Desktop, Documents, etc. Number 2A, one purpose for which scanner is used is to send photographs to a computer. Oh, we didn't read number two. Number two is asking you to state one purpose for which a scanner is used. And 2B is asking to state one way to care for a keyboard. Number two, answer A, is one purpose is to send photographs to a computer. And one way to care for the computer is to keep food and drink away from the keyboard. Other ways are to use compressed air to remove dust and small fragments from the keyboard. And you could also use a silicone keyboard overlay. You know, that will keep all the dust. You know that, right? That will keep out the dust, you know, keeping it clean, of course, is one way to care for it. Number three, three of the keys used for moving around within a document are given below. Give the abbreviation for each of these keys. So for C1, control keys... C2 page up, C3 page down. For control key, you know it is CTRL. For page up, you will see PG up. And for page down, you will see PG down. B says state one measures that can be used to protect the integrity of computer files. This question oftentimes appears every single year. All right, so you can think of override protection, read only access, restricted access, and the list goes on. Number four, copy table one below into your answer booklet. 
and correct all errors and inconsistencies in style. Highlight your corrections by underlining them. So take a look at the table, ladies, gentlemen, and let us find the errors. In row one, you should have proficiency, not proficiencies. So you should have subject, proficiency, profiles. And you notice profiles should be in all caps, just like subject and proficiency. So right away, we found two errors in row one. Let us look at row two. You have EDPM under proficiency. You have general only. And then you have a list of uh, the profile section. One, accuracy. Two, speed. Three, presentation. You notice general only is not lined up with the others. So there's an alignment issue there. So what would you do is to left align it. Am I correct? Yes. And for, num for, for the section with profiles, accuracy is spelled incorrectly. There should be two C's in accuracy. Well, three. Two C's at the beginning, right after A, and one C at the end, before the Y. So you should have it as ACC. Look at row three. It's not aligned like the others. So you know office procedures should be to the left. Ah, the general only looks fine. Look over to the profile section. What do you notice? The application is tabbed. It shouldn't be tabbed. It should be aligned with knowledge. So you would fix that. Four, row four. What is wrong in row four? Accounts is in all caps, and only the A in account should be in all caps, right? So you'd fix that. General and basic, that's fine. One, two, three, knowledge, application, interpretation. What's wrong there? They usually use the ampersand. Down the bottom, I would change the A and D to the ampersand for the last two rows. But what is wrong over the profile side for row four? The interpretation should have a capital I. You notice a common I is there? Yes, so you should put the interpretation in capital I. Row five, what is wrong at row five? Principles of physics is fine. Uh, the general and basic, I would put an ampersand where you see A and D. And where you have the profile section, what is wrong over there? The I for introduction, yes, yeah, should be a capital I. So you're looking at initial caps, right? So the, the, the important words, per se, should be capital letter. And introduction would be one of those. Are you following? Do you see anything else? Any other error or any other thing need correction there? All right, let us move to the last row. Typewriting is fine, general and basic. Like I said, I would put an ampersand where you see A and D. What about the profiles section? Incorrect spelling at three. Notice you have presentation instead of presentation so you have to carefully look look carefully when you see questions like these and if you notice it values what 15 marks so it means that there are 15 errors to identify so say for argument's sake you went through it and you only find 13 you just have to go look again and find the other two all right Number five, number five says you're to copy, a, copy table two into your booklet, answer booklet. Complete the table by stating the correct paper size and appropriate paper orientation that should be used for each of the following. Uh, 
for each of the three documents in the table. So document one, a three-page brochure. You know that would be on an A4 paper and turn long way, which is in landscape. A lease, we know a lease go on A3 paper, and that should be normal setting, which is portrait. A short memo, a uh, short four line memo goes on an A5 paper just like invitation. And it still should be in a portrait orientation layout. Yes, lease go, lease go on A3 paper. Yes. No, not necessarily. No. Because A3 is smaller. So I would say the higher. No. No. You could take a hard a look at a hard copy of each of them and you'll see the difference. Alright. Number six. Name two electronic media and then state the function of a of a modem in a computer system. Two electronic communication media are cables, fiber optic cables, others could be radio, waves, sorry, and satellite links. B, the function of the modem in a computer system is to modulate an analog carrier signal to carry digital information and to demodulate a similar signal so as to decode the digital information from the analog carrier signal. Modem comes from modulate, demodulate. You know that? Mo, dem, yes. That's how they put modem together. It comes from modulator, demodulator. All right? So you learned something new today. If you didn't know before, that is. Number seven, list five steps used when creating an electronic document folder. If you're saving a folder on the computer, what are the steps? If the document is open already, you'll go to file, but what if it is not yet open? Remember now, you're talking about a folder, electronic folder. It's not talking about save, saving a regular file. Now. So that's what you were referring to just now. It's talking about a folder. So when you want to create a folder, you would click on this folder here, down the bottom on your taskbar. So you'll click there. And then what? You, you go where you want to have it, the folder that is. So you could go to documents or on your thumb drive, what is on your thumb drive? You could go to desktop. So wherever your folder will be located, that's where you'll go next. And then what? You click on home and then you click on new folder. And then you give the folder a name by typing the folder name. And then you press enter or outside of the folder to save that folder. All right, let me take a, let me give you a, a, a run on, rundown of it. So once you click on the folder, you'll see this pop up. Then you'll go to home and then you'll see new folder right here. But because I, I, I have no nothing open, it won't allow it. But once something is open you will see that new folder icon available to you when you click on it you'll get new folder then you'll rename it to whatever you want to call the folder and then you press enter or outside of it to save that folder all right now let me get back to the file number eight number eight says list the sequence of operations for inserting text boxes on a form. Then it says name two types of forms that may be created on the computer according to specific instructions. 
how do you go about inserting text boxes on a form? Go to the insert tab. Then you click on the drop down arrow for symbol. Remember now, it's on a form that you're inserting it. You know that little box that you get to tick? That's the box they are referring to. So you go to symbol, yes, and then you'll select winding font and scroll until you find the text box, the tick box that is. Ah, and then you click on it and select insert and then you click close. You want us to quickly look at it? All right, so you'll go to the insert tab, then you click on symbol, And then it's already here, but what if it wasn't there? You would go to more symbols and then select the winding font. It's already there, but if it wasn't there, you would select it. And then you'll search through all of these to find your text box. You notice it's the same place you would go to find your scissors. When you want to do a form or a letter with the confirmation slip, that's the same place you would go to get the scissors. All right? And then, of course, once you click on the image you want, you will click on insert, and then you close. Are you following? Right. B says two, two types of forms that may be created on a computer are printed forms and online forms, such as applications, contracts, payslip, invoices, statement, and fax covers and usually those are related to office forms forms that you would, you would found, find in an office number nine elisa completed a research project but she was penalized because the report contained words from another person's work without acknowledgement of the author a identify the term used for the act Elisa committed. Plagiarism. All right. B. State two methods that Elisa could use to acknowledge, acknowledge the author. You could write it in your own words. After you read it, you write it in your own words. So you could give credit by putting the source in your bibliography or your reference list. All right. You could also get permission from the, the, the person. What if it's a music video or it's a music, uh, it's a song? You would have to get permission. Otherwise, if you use it without their permission, you put a disclaimer to say it doesn't belong to you, whatever. All right. Number 10. Betty Ann was given the following instructions by her boss. Please start this letter, but first confirm the date of the meeting with, with John Black by 10 a.m. I will be available for a signature at 12 noon. Betty Ann willingly complied in all respects. A. Identify two acceptable work standards Betty Ann displayed. All right, so effective time management, because she had to work within a certain time period. So, of course, effective time management is one. Organization of work is another, because she had to do one before the other. Others could be that she had to obtain approval for the use of the work. Oh, oh, never mind. Standard of assignment for submission, as well as follow-up procedure. All right. B says, which two desirable work habits and work attitudes did Betty Ann demonstrate? Those are willingness, meeting deadlines. Like I said, she had to work within a time frame. Others could be individual responsibilities, team spirit, and cooperation. So that's the end of 2006 EDPM past paper question and answers.